some interesting stuff in those companies' numbers there in that S1. Josh, what, what do you got? So, Julie, it took 17 years, but Palantir now looks ready to make its public market debut. Remember, this company was co-founded by Peter Thiel back in 2003. Its mission, providing software that customers use to integrate volumes of data from images to spreadsheets into a central platform where it can then be securely analyzed and interpreted. Palantir is perhaps best known for its work with the U.S. government. CEO Alex Karp told me his software is very useful and sometimes deadly, referring to Palantir's work there with the American military and warfighters. Company says revenue grew 25% in 2019, and in the first six months of this year, nearly 50%, but it's still not making a profit, posting a net loss of about $165 million. Now, Carp and his company clearly enjoy staying apart from the crowd, and in that filing, Carp ripped into his tech peers, writing... The engineering elite of Silicon Valley may know more than most about building software, he says, but they do not know more about how society should be organized or what justice requires. Our company was founded in Silicon Valley, but we seem to share fewer and fewer of the technology sector's values and commitments. Now, having said that, the company does seem to share at least some of big tech's values. Palantir has two classes of stock, Class A and Class B. It also plans to introduce Class F shares, too, meant to give the founders just below 50% of total voting power, echoing steps taken by tech giants like Facebook and Alphabet.